we look at the edge of the water, there's a lizard. You see that lizard? Martin, do you see the lizard? It's at the end of the water, on the edge of the shore there. Yeah, to the left. There you are, you got him. Oh, look at that big lizard, everyone. That's called a water monitor lizard. And I tell you what, I think he's just had a nice meal. I think he's just eaten something. You see how fat his belly is? I think he's eaten something and now he's enjoying just lying there in the sun. Look at his long tongue. Isn't that amazing? See him sticking it out like that? Now, why do you think a lizard would do that? Why do they stick their tongues out like that? Let's see if he'll do it again. He's watching us. He can also hear another vehicle moving past. So he's watching that too. He's always constantly on the lookout for any danger. Let's watch his tongue. Let's see if he does it again, because I want you to notice the shape of his tongue. And for some reason, he's decided he's not going to stick it out again. But the shape of his tongue is like a fork. So there are two ends to it. And I know this is going to sound very strange to you, but you know, a lizard smells with its tongue. Let me say that again. A lizard smells with its tongue. Now you actually do a little bit of smelling with your tongue as well, and sometimes tasting with your nose. And it's a very similar kind of arrangement, where what the lizard does is stick its tongue out into the air, the air picks up the what chemicals in the air that smell, and then it pushes them up through a gap in the top of its mouth, and somehow it manages to smell by doing that. It's a bit like you pushing your tongue all the way into your nose once you've stuck it outside, and then sort of smelling the end of it to see what's around. And that's much more sensitive than our noses. And look just above it there, a gorgeous bird that's called a laughing dove. Now, William, Victoria and Quinn, you want to know what a monitor eats. Well, a monitor basically will eat just about anything that it can get its little teeth into. Let's just have a 